What's up, people? Well, tonight I wanted to take a look at something fairly new. This is something I've been meaning to take a look at for a while. For those of you who never did like the switch Ubuntu did from the old GNOME 2 to the Unity type uh, look that you see here, for, the, for those of you that do not care for that type of desktop environment and prefer the previous pre-Unity look, you may want to take a look at Point Linux. Uh, this is something I've been toying around with and I really, really like it a lot, especially if you are a beginner to Linux, have no clue what this is about, but want something fairly, you know, newbie friendly, user friendly, beginner friendly, you may want to take a look at this because I think this is something that you beginners may actually prefer over something that you're using now, say maybe Windows 8 even. Let's take a look. I'm running this inside a virtual machine. Let me just go ahead and full screen it here. All right, this is the default desktop for Point Linux. I believe this is based off the um, GNOME 2 or the Linux, uh, the Mate version. Let's take a look here. We'll go to support Point Linux, click Point Linux. As you can see, Firefox is installed by default. All right, what is Point Linux? Point Linux is a GNU Linux distribution that aims to combine the power of Debian GNU Linux with the pro productivity of Mate, the GNOME 2 desktop. We click Mate. All right, and it says here, Mate the traditional desktop environment. And there, there is some more information here. Now, as far as this goes, if, if you are a beginner, have no idea what this means, it's okay, don't worry about it. Those of you who are familiar with Linux, I just wanted to show you what this is based on. So if you are a Windows user, can you install this and can you figure this out? I believe that you can. Let's take a quick look and see what we have. Right click, you will, you will have several options here. You may want to check out Change Desktop Background. There are only three backgrounds, but the one thing I like about this is you can click Get More Backgrounds Online. And you can download more pictures as you see here many many choices I really like this a lot and you can just click the X here to escape as you would if you were using Windows All right you have two panel bars one at the top I'll just go from right to left this is the shutdown the time and date if you right click preferences and you can automatically change this from 12 to 24 hour format. A nice little bonus if you wanted to add to weather. Networking, of course volume. If you right click on the panel itself you can add nice little pieces of software called applets. For example I just right clicked and say you want to install a trash shortcut just highlight that, add, close, and there you go, it's right there. Very, very simple. And you can remove this or move it. I'll just leave it there for now. What do we have here? The Thunderbird email client. Of course, Firefox, we looked at. Yep, there's, there's Thunderbird. You have probably seen that before. Going still from right to left. System preferences. Again, this is a very, very simple menu, submenu, click and go type of system similar to maybe what you were used to before in Windows 2000 XP and maybe even a little bit of Windows 7. You can scroll to the right up and down as you see here. Administration. Alright, places, the home folder of course. And click view. These, these can be organized accordingly as you would in Windows. This is running very, very zippy and very stable. Very nice. Applications. Again, these are these are by categories, accessories, menu, submenu, graphics, internet, office, sound, and video. VLC is installed by default. Very nice. System tools. Let's see how much RAM this is using. Really, only 175 megabytes of RAM. For a, <laughs> for a modern desktop. Very, very nice. Well, let's go to YouTube. Let's go to Firefox and YouTube. 
So I'll just type uh, YouTube. Looks like DuckDuckGo is installed by default. And we'll just search by channel. Well, let's see if this can uh, play something. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another terrific yep. podcast. Yep, I could hear my voice. There you go. You can play YouTube videos out of the box. At the bottom here, you have another panel that you can delete this panel if you want to. Add applets. You have four different desktops. By clicking each square, just ignore this bottom thing that popped up. That's part of the virtual box. Of course, the shortcuts here. If you wanted to install Point Linux, double click that. And the trash shortcut there. Guys, what can I say? I really, really like uh, Point Linux. Again, if you pre prefer the previous pre-Unity Ubuntu, you're probably going to love this. Uh, all you beginners out there who wanted to try Linux but was a little bit scared, this is completely beginner friendly in my opinion. I haven't noticed any crashes. It runs entirely smooth, very easy. I think all you Windows beginners, Linux beginners out there could probably figure this out without too many issues. Well, good luck if you choose to try this. I definitely like it. Who knows, I may even install this on one of my machines just to give it the retro look that Ubuntu once had. Of course, this would be the retro look for me. For those of you who are new to Linux, this would be entirely new, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So take a look at Point Linux. Let me know if you guys install it. Let me know how it works out for you. Good luck, and as always, thank you for watching and listening, and I will catch all of you sometime in the future.